Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, if you're looking for all 12 signs, they're at the back of the video. If you're looking for my information for a personal reading, it's in the description box as well as the gum road is in the description box and in the comment section. Let's get into Taurus's uh, reading here. So what do we got for Taurus, please? What do we got? So Taurus, you feel like there's some kind of a burden closing out a cycle. You know, maybe there's a burden with change. You don't like change. It's a burden to you. Um, but coming, something's come full circle for you. So whatever this page of, of wands is, you know, this could be an idea. I bet it's a, like it's a, you're obsessed with making money. You're obsessed with, um, you know, something, a commitment that you, you're making here, whatever this is. Um, it's your wish, though. You know, this may be passionate. You may be passionately communicating what you want to do, but you're obsessed when it comes to that Ten of Pentacles. You know, but I feel like with this Ten of Wands, there's some kind of a burden coming to an end here for you. There's some kind of a burden that's coming to an end. You have a lot of opportunities here and, you know, to move something forward. Um, divine timing is saying that this is, this is, uh, you know, this is their blessing, right? This is their judgment of the divine, right? That this is meant to happen. This is something that's going to work for you. Something that you're going to get a lot out of. You have temperance here as well. You know, this is being guided. This is being, this is being guided by, you have two angels here and the divine. You have, um, you have a lot coming towards you. And, and I feel like this is meant for you to have, right? This is a new, new idea, a new passionate beginning, something that's going to make you a lot of money. Um, this is, I don't even feel like it's a commitment at this point. I feel like this is an idea that you have that you're working on. Now you may have, um, you may be celebrating it with your empress, or you could be the empress celebrating a victory. So if you're a, a feminine, uh, um, somebody wants to rain on your parade. They do. Somebody wants to rain on your braid. Their happiness is um, just like being harsh and, you know, un uh, there's no tact. I feel like there's no tact in the situation. This person is very strategic and in, in how they say things, they, they like, they wound you with their words is what I'm getting. This person is very strategic about how they, they attack you or how they come at you. Um, it's almost like with a stone face. So it's like this makes this person very happy. So um, Taurus, I feel like you're feminine energy here. You're an empress here. You're celebrating a victory. And this king of wands, whoever this king of wands, king of swords is, this person is back and forth because they like to play mind games and manipulate. So this person, doesn't like you succeeding at all. Like this person, if they see that you are moving two steps forward, they want to pull you three steps back. They don't want you to have what this blessing is that's coming in. But guess what? I got news for them. Look at this. When this card shows up, you've got it divinely guided, right? This is meant to happen. This is, this is your destiny. And so no matter what, how many mind games this person plays or how they want to attack or be controlling or, you know, whatever this is, this person's going to lose. They're going to lose because you have, a, you have something wonderful coming towards you. And I feel like the burden that you're carrying that's ending is maybe this person because it, you don't want to deal with this anymore. Right. The burden of closing out a cycle, you're ending something to start something new. Somebody's trying to hold on and you're trying to end it. Right. Your wish 
Here you are, Queen of Pentacles. It's your wish, Queen of Pentacles. Um, there may be passionate communication. Um, you could be fighting or arguing with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of bath back and forth. There's a lot of jealousy. There's a lot of backbiting here, right? That devil energy uh, about a third party. And, and I feel like you're obsessed with your money. You're not somebody's judgment about your business too working and collaborating somebody's obsessed with collaborating with somebody or obsessed with a third party um some third party wrecking too hot in here okay so i feel like somebody wants recognition here other than you you know this is like your baby but somebody is wanting to take um a piece of it for themselves whatever this is um yeah so somebody you have there's i feel like this is you this is you you have an opportunity and you're being very strategic about your opportunities right because if you if you don't you're going to move forward and get betrayed however you move you this person wants to betray you they want to take what the divine is giving you for sure right? It's been a long time coming, your judgment. I've worked on this for a long time. Um, divine timing, this, this person, okay, so Taurus, you have somebody here who wants to rob you blind. They want to rob you blind. They want, they want you to be penniless after you've worked on something for the longest time, they want you to be penniless in the situation. Um, they want you left out of the cold of a of a family situation. They want they want to take what you have uh, made or produced. Um, but you're going to find some kind of balance. And even if this is loving yourself, um, uh, this may be this may be you're being patient for a new passionate beginning. Um, but there may be there may be. Um, um, a lot of love here for somebody, but I feel like a partnership. This is not, I don't feel like it's work rela uh, love related. I feel like this is work related. It could be love related, but I feel like it's not. I feel like that you're working on your success. You're moving forward to do something you really want to do, but there are several people around you that want to steal you blind and they want to take what you've been working on for the longest time. And uh, believe me, you will find this loving partnership but it's not going to be around the people that you're dealing with right now because you um you're celebrating that that you have a victory here right you're not telling anybody anything you've made a decision to cut them out because you feel trapped with these people and you've gotten all the clarity you need you see them for who they are you do and you're not you're not you're not giving up the gold okay you're not telling anybody your business you're keeping it to yourself they have no idea what you're up to or how you're doing stuff so this person who king of wands, queen of wands, it could be the same person back and forth, trying to fight, trying to win at all cost. This, you know, there's no equal give and take in this situation. Um, you may be working with the king of pentacles and this person's jealous and wants to win at all cost over this new beginning. They, they want to ruin it, right? But you're, you're, they're at a crossroads or you're at a crossroads. Oh, okay. I see what this is. This King of Wands, I feel like is the Queen of Wands over here. I feel like it's one of the same person. It's also the King of Swords is under the bottom of the deck. You have somebody here who wants to take everything you've built up, right? They they see that you may be working with somebody else. That's what this this um this right here, you know, um, you know, this would be a great love match, but I don't feel like it's a love match. I feel like it's a um, you know, uh, a new beginning of, of love and abundance with, with, uh, a partnership. And I feel like there's no equal give and take for this King of Wands, uh, working in a situation there. There's just not right. And I feel like they still want to play mind games, manipulate and control the situation, uh, where this new beginning is concerned, but you, you're at a, but they're at a crossroads because you've already got somebody who's a boss who's helping you in this, you know, this situation where your money's concerned. And it's going to cause this person a tower moment. 
because you definitely um you're getting your wish you're being guided towards your wish by your guides you're being guided towards what you want god what a beautiful reading for you i mean in the sense of no matter what they're coming at you with taurus you are standing tall because the divine is saying hey we got you we got you we're not going to let anybody steal what we're giving you that's the bottom line it's yours it's yours and nobody can take that from you no matter how hard they try they're not going to win right you have a new beginning here and you know it you know it. you have spiritual gifts and talents and it's giving you a transformation it's transforming something that has to do with prosperity see this isn't about love this is about your money and this is about something you've worked so hard on and somebody's trying to take it from you and they're not going to be able to get any of it you're you're going to have the prosperity here the money is yours and yours alone you may share it with this new person but you have somebody who's who's coming to your rescue so to speak they're saying stay focused and trust what you're dealing god i love it when the cards are talking look at this i love it look at that you have you have stay focused right stay focused and you can trust this right and the abundance is coming, right? You can trust that the abundance is coming. Okay, what do we got? What do we got for Taurus? You got the hammer. You're working hard. You're working. You're working so hard at doing what you're doing and using your intuition because you know that there are people trying to steal your ideas, right? Um, it could be family. It could be family that's trying to steal your ideas. And you know that there's a lot of burden here and a lot of drama. And, you know, they may be sending you message. They may want answers, but you're not giving them any of them. You're not telling them. You're not telling them nothing. They're not getting nothing out of you but a big old goose egg. You're not giving them any of your information. They may want to steal it but you're not, you're not going to allow it. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? You know, that King of Swords also under the bottom of the deck could have been an attorney. Like they may be trying to, to play games or trying to win um, um, towards you with an attorney. You're doing it by yourself, single, right? And you're happy. You're happy as you could be, right? Um, they're heartbroken and rejected, heartbroken and rejected. You're happy and single. They're heartbroken and rejected. And they're going to have some regrets under the bottom of the, the deck here. So, wow, Taurus, I, I think that's fabulous for you. Now, like I said, that, that King of Swords under the bottom of the deck could have been an attorney because the King of Swords can represent an authority figure, you know, um, you know, they're trying to take it with authority, so to speak, but you're not, it, it's not going to happen. It's not, you're going to win the day. So, um, guys, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to see what measures they're going to try to take. I'm going to see that you're, uh, how successful you're going to be and what's coming in the near future for you. So if that resonates, um, let me know in the meantime, what we're going to do is we're going to get you all 12 and then we'll go to, to the extended. Okay. Give me all 12 signs for Taurus, please. All 12 signs for Taurus, please. All 12 signs for Taurus, please. Hey, Taurus, I feel like um, you may have won something. You may have won your wish in a judgment. There may have been a final judgment that made your dreams come true. It was your wish, um, something that you waited for. Um, so you may win a case of some sort. Um, so let's see what's happening. All 12 signs. 
if you're dealing with an Aries. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of burden with these opportunities. Whatever these opportunities are, these options, the illusions, um, it could be an illusion that's a burden. But I feel like it, you know, the opportunity could be a burden. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, another Taurus, somebody's moving towards their happiness. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's at a crossroads about a decision. If you're dealing with a Cancer, someone sees something from a different perspective and justice. So, you know, um, they may look at the bigger picture and see something else. If you're dealing with a Leo, um, someone's wanting to work on a family situation. If you're dealing with a Virgo, somebody is uh, like begging for money. They're out in the cold begging for money. If you're dealing with a, a Libra, Someone's trying to show their love, but they're lying. So when they're offering that cup, it's all a lie. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, yeah, see, there's this is about this is about a money grab. You know, someone's being strategic where the money's concerned. This could be an attorney. You know, this person may be trying to steal your money. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, you have a strength for a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, someone's making a decision to cut something out in secret. Whatever was hidden, they're cutting it out. It's that no one, no one's going to know about it. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's trying to heal with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's trying to block your clarity, block you from seeing something. They're trying to block you from seeing something. So guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over on Gumroad for the Extended.